Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. My name is Ben Pope and this is the city of Finkafin. We left off after building some districts, specifically with UK housing. Uh, and we are very close to 100,000 population as you can see. And at this point, uh, there's a few problems that I have to fix in order to continue. And then we'll go ahead and build our central park. Or I'll call it Park Central because I don't want to have to like, you know, copy anyone's ideas. So, uh, issues. Look, we have uh, bar barely any water availability. And I think I'm going to put in um, a water pump over here. Because it should be... Let's see, it's the large, yeah. Large water pump right there. Should be close to get power. That will get us water and sewage treatment. Um, I already went ahead and put in some sewage treatment right there, but it seems like it's still not enough. So I'll take a few more of these sewage treatment plants. That is also a modded item, I believe. I lost track of how many items I have that are from mods. Uh, and I'm going to put some of these, maybe just a couple, BMB3. Can the third one fit? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Thank you. Uh, we'll put it over here. And it looks like it will need power. So let's do a power thingy from that to this. And let's see if it's actually connected. Is it is it connected to this? Are you on the same pipeline? Does the plus connect to the minus? The, is that the heck if I know. Let's just do that. Now we're sure. Okay. Maybe. Apparently that sewage treatment uh, is still about the same. Um, oh, no, there it is. There it goes. It jumped. Uh, the other thing is power. I could probably do more more power because, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's like right there. And we have plenty of money and uh, it doesn't take much. We can actually make this neat by putting in a road like so. Go into the power uh, panel, grabbing another one of these power plants. And placing it there and I should jump our electricity availability in a second there it is sweet now uh, one funny thing I found is there's a broken down or is it it's gone no there it is there's a broken down SUV poor guy is like oh my goodness I don't know if I should go left or right or stay here or what or do and all these cars behind are just actually uh, getting tired of him doing that and they're just dis disappearing they're like I'm gonna sit here for a bit I'll wait for you and then vanish uh, because I do that it's magical uh, see there there goes one of them and they're just gonna do that for a while of course I turned off the smarter AI for traffic mod and uh, you can't really delete a car that's sitting here so this guy because he's broken he won't disappear uh, he hasn't disappeared for a few minutes because I've been staring at it and um, yeah, all these kids are running around and they're like, oh my goodness, that, I hope that car doesn't actually, you know, one time, instead of doing that loop, actually plow in through me while I cross the sidewalk. So, uh, you see cars that are smart enough to use the other lanes and go around, and they do just fine, but then all these cars want to use the right lane, and that's kind of the big issue for us. Um, people are still complaining about not enough goods to sell. I, I don't know why, because they should have plenty of goods coming in via, you know, via the boat. Um, look at all these buses piling up on each other. That's great. All right. <laughs> so, um, right. There's plenty of goods coming in through the boat and all the farms and districts for factories that we have. They haven't even built all of this. These people are crying about not having enough workers. And I'm probably talking too fast. So let's get to our park area. This is where we want to build. And um, I know that there's quite a few nice parks that I can use. So why don't I start with this one, for example. Uh, let's look at it. I keep clicking. Okay, so this is a natural park. It's nice. I can probably put a couple of these and get away with that because they are just that cool. Uh, I can put one over here, maybe. How close can I go? I can go there. And I'm just going to do a, f a bit of you know placing parks and then uh, at the end maybe move them around a little bit because I can uh, this 
park I like, so I might have a couple of these sitting here, like right, right next to each other. Or uh, let's just do that. Let's do that. And what else do we have? We have uh, that's a Porsche. I think that's a parking lot. Um, I'm just gonna place it down. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that down. I could do I could do other th other stuff, other things for a parking lot here because it's the middle of the city. So we'll remove that one. Let's go and see what's next. We have our tank memorials, which we used on the other side. We could do a world clock. That's always fun. Um, let's do it. Let's do it over here. I, think, I feel like that should fill in that gap. And then we have... Uh, this is like a... Um, I believe it is very much a... Yeah, it is a um, playground for kids. And that's good because when people come, you know, all the grown-ups will come and use the park and kids have to, you know, go and do something fun for themselves. So there's a few um, swings and, and whatever these sliding, sliding big big boy toys. I just forgot what they're called. I should know what they're are called. Alright, so uh, a pool park. I don't think I need a pool park. Uh, why don't I do one of these garages for parking? And I feel like I could do it somewhere here. There we go. That will cover up that corner nicely. People can park here and use the parks. If that makes sense. Then we have some swing parks and stuff. And a small community pool. I don't need it. There's some walkway, uh, plaza picnic with trees. I don't think I have this anywhere, so I'm going to place one down. And let's get more of the highway picnic area, flower path. More of these created ones. Um, pathway park. I feel like that's, that should be good. Yeah. That should be good for how that is. This might not look like the best right now, but let's see. We'll move things around to make it look good. Uh, we might come back and put some pretzel stands. Of course, that's our um, that's our signature park the pretzel stand. Um, I kind of like this one. Let me see if I can get get since this corner is messed up a little bit anyway. That looks fine. Uh, I like this for the entrance, I think. Can we do it? I don't know. Let's just try it. For the entrance on this side, we have the world clock on the other side. Next, we can do a mini labyrinth. Those are two by twos. I could put it here. I think that would be cool, cool to have. Uh, Maiden fountains, nice. I do like the main fountain. I think I have it down somewhere as well. Um, I'm sure I passed by a few that I could use. A small playground found these fountains. I'll probably come back and put them all. Uh, actually, why don't why don't I just put some in right now? Uh, kind of through the center of the park, and then I'll go around and put. Um, paths around and make it all look really good inside there okay next we probably could do a very small park playground we looked at that okay uh, do I want to do things like the carousel I could do this paradox plaza we haven't done it yet of course it's not gonna fit anywhere on this side or this side so if I decide to bring this in I'll have to think about it. Public toilet. That's always useful. Um, golly, why not? Let's do a public toilet right there. And this Lake Tan we already have, right? That's the one. Yeah, Lake, Lake Tan. Okay. So, we're going to scroll through the front. Find something for this corner. Because I think I just passed by a few that I was thinking of putting. And like I kind of like this one. 
So let's do it. Let's do let's do it right there. And I can put some two by twos in this corner, huh? Okay, now why don't I move this to this side? And don't worry about the cost to move it. Looks like it's costing me like sixty coins to move it. Uh, I actually don't think it's gonna let me put it on this side. I wanted to put it so it uses a better space. Meow. We look at you. Uh, I'm back to where I started. All right. Uh, do I want this maybe to move? I want that to move. I want this to be here. If it lets me. Um, it, it won't let me. Okay, we'll move this guy. I'm just I'm just testing out the land. See what I could do. Why not? I can't come as close as I want to. And maybe it won't fit on this side at all unless I move this. I can move the clock. Let's see. Doing some thinking out here, guys. Doing some thinking out loud. Yeah. That'd be a good a good park to enter the park through. Right? Something, maybe. Um and let's see, what else can we put on display in this corner? We have this one, right? We have that one. Uh, two by two parking lot, no. Another parking lot. A linear park. Oh, this is the one that I have all around the um, center of the boulevard and so on. Three by three, a beach. It's not gonna work. Although, you know, it, it's funny to have a beach out there. It's not by the water at all, so. Um, bird bath? Why not? I could do, I could do one. Inner city table. I like, I like the inner city tables. And we have space for one, I think. We could do it right there, and then we'll do some two by two on this side. Let's just find, like the English garden, maybe. Uh, museum pieces that I used in our historical area. Ooh, the picnic. I really want the picnic. Okay. Um, tell you what. To keep the theme, maybe I'll remove this. And let's move this one to that side. And put this one on the side. Just to see if the picnic would fit. And it would not fit. I have to move that one. Um... No worries, no worries. This might annoy you briefly, but then everything will be fine. You just wait and see. Just wait and see. I can put this one in, I think. The heck I can. All right, but I do really like the picnic area. Look at that. That's really that's really cool. Makes people wanna you know come out and just enjoy a spot in the park where they can just eat their food and not be bothered by anyone and it's really quiet over here uh, surprisingly you know the train station is over there and um, all sorts of things but there's a nice lake and this is gonna be a pleasant park to be in even though there's like huge tall buildings just on the horizon so I do want to picnic there uh, we might have to not have some of these other things Let's see. Boo. We probably won't have the world clock at all. Or the uh, pathway park. Which is kind of a bummer. How about we move this one? Let's see. Fit. We can fit you here. And maybe move 
move this out of the way a bit to see if this fits. And of course it won't uh, because of this one by one. Let's see now. Hey, all right. Can you fit there? No. Okay, so this is a three by three. We will end up using all these parks somewhere, but for now, uh, we can have a couple of one by ones take their take their place. Maybe, of course, we'll have to find the pretzel stand and put one in at the corner. Um, there's a two by two spot here. The mini park. We could do that. Of course, I can always remove that and put in like a metro station. If I want to give these guys an, an access to the metro station. And then we have an English garden, which... I don't know. Sadly, it won't... It won't fit. Uh, let's take this away. Because I believe the English garden is a little nicer. Little nicer. Alright. There we go. Can we look at it? No, we can't because there's an IKEA truck and a truck with lumber right in front of us. Um, okay, so there's the English garden. Um, it has uh, mm, has nice fountains. Then this has the lion thingy. There's people running around. Um, there's also um, a lady with the plant in her hand. The plant is as long as she is. Slightly longer eventually. There's two of them. Alright. Um, and there's more. There's one over, over here. So this is the ladies' uh, display on this side. Then we have paths going through. Picnic area. A barbecue. There's a recycling can, which is important. Um, flower park. More picnic areas. And I think we're pretty much... Well, almost done. We have to... Um, we might have to fill in these couple of spots and ooh, and do the pathing in between with the fountains and some trees. So let's get it. Let's get it done. Um, any more one by one parks that want to come in? There's an asset maiden fountain. Oh, I really like that one too. Um, mm, I feel like getting rid of this thing for a second to see if if this looks better. Maiden fountain. Relocate you. I have a maiden fountain. Never mind. Scratch that idea. <laughs> okay. So we're at the end again. Um, I could probably bring in that world clock again, I guess. Where is it? There it is. Let's put it on that side. And how about the floor, the David... What is it? Uh, David Florence. The Italia. Um, and... Parking lot would be dumb because we already took care of the parking lot. We don't have the inner city table, so we can do that, and we can do another three by three over here, which I think uh, small plaza might work. Well, you guys let me know. You guys let me know if you like it. I can change it. I can always change it. So this is going away. And our park central is nearly complete. We just want to go in and put some paths. And we're going to use this sort of squiggly. Uh, go in.
Uh, no. All right. If you heard my phone vibrate, that was just a tweet. A tweet, I think. Squiggly lines. Okay, do that. Will it not fit? Might not fit through there, so I have to go through here. Hopefully it will fit through here. Okay, so we'll have to relocate this slightly. Go back to the path. And connect there. Um, could do a spot like that. Just so it's full. Although... We can also put a one by one park there. Okay, uh, what else? How about another variation like this? Uh, something that connects to over here. Something that connects to this side would be made out of. Uh, wow. Well, made out of dirt. My phone rang again, so I was like, wow, really? Guys, you have to like sort of bug me that much. Yeah. Does that connect the path? Not really. How about how about we do that? There we go. And we can sort of sort of combine it. It it won't let me combine it 100%. I think. Okay. Uh, how about this? Side. Does it need a? It does not need. Do I need a path anywhere else? If I don't, I can just go to the trees. Uh, we'll get some cool plants that are exotic and not even from this area. Um, so our place could be like totally, you know, awesome, of course, and. Um, People would want to come to the park central. Yeah, look, there's even a palm tree, but we're not gonna do palm trees. We're gonna stick with, with you know, more believable. I mean, the cypress is cool. We could do those. Uh, those other palm plants are more believable, maybe, than the palm trees. Although you can sort of grow them anywhere. Um, it all depends on your taste. I just think the palm tree would be... I could do like one palm tree. Where is it? It would be just a big eyesore. That's not even the one I want. So there's there's one that I want. So we can remove this guy. And let's see what else trees we can put in. We have these sort of bushy ones. Those are cool. We'll do some bushy trees. And that's about it, guys. We are basically done with the park. How about it? Uh, do you want some flowers? Let's add some flowers down the path. Uh, some red ones. Uh, maybe one over here. If it fits. And a couple of yellows. Yep. And you haven't seen such a park in forever. Just look at it. People are already already like sitting there. Uh, we're gonna walk around the central. Look at the palm tree. Go. Oh my goodness! How is there a palm tree here? Notice that it was modded in, so the level of details on the tree. Well, actually, kind of all the trees are kind of not super detailed and that's okay because that would take away too much of the detail from the buildings and the city wouldn't look as good so it's okay for the trees not to be like super detailed then we can look at the time and and say oh my goodness it's time uh to not stay at the park anymore because we have to do other things right it's like I don't know, i'm filming today is the 10th of august and you, you'll watch this on the 11th and be like, oh no, that was amazing, that was an awesome park. Um, 
and then I was like, well, what else can we put around the park? We could put more, um, we could put more commercial, but I think people will love to live next to the park. So we'll do some houses on the side here. We're, we're still not at 100,000 population, guys. I think actually we might have been, but it went down because people probably died off. Um, sadly. And we're going to have to remove this park. Alright, so let's put in more um, zoning, which should take us over the edge and into 100,000 population. Um, which is what we want. Let's do commercial over here and over here because that's always nice. And we want to have commercial on the edge of that. Here we go. More residential. People will move in, you know it. They'll just be like flocking to live next to that amazingness. Um, and then also to live by the river, although there's like barely any um, cool views except for that of the city on the other side. So, um, and apparently there's some traffic problems down the ways. Right, uh, we should probably speed up our game, which, which will help. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. Um, let's just go ahead and, and fill this out. I know that there's more parks I could probably put in right here to help with uh, land value, and I'll put in some parks on the edge when I feel like it. For now, we'll just do that. I think our district... Um, I was going to have the Oriental office flats here. <laughs> I call it that because not that there's any Oriental type buildings, but because every uh, type of building is unlocked for there. So, um, whoops, I just pressed the f first person view button which took us in the water. Um, so you'll see all sorts of office buildings here. You'll have the Euro style, the... Uh, more international style right next to it and uh, they will eventually level up yeah why don't we give them some more places to work um, I feel like that could be a thing and I, I still find myself confused at, at why there's like train traffic um, but apparently there's trains waiting to go through the tunnel and out this way. Like, amazingly, there's just 50,000 trains looking to go to this station. I can't, I can't believe it. I mean, what, should I put another station on this side? Uh, I suppose. I mean, this cargo station is getting more action than... <sighs> anyone anyone I know and I know quite a few people like you know I'm not like totally alone in the world are we oh gosh our population is still losing uh, numbers instead of gaining so we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, more uh, housing in, although we don't have demand for it. That's the sad part. There's no demand. Uh, we are just gonna make them uh, make them want to build all around here and move in because this is like a better location. It's right at the entrance of town. Um, and yeah, it, there's no reason why not. No reason why not to move in spend your hard hard earned cash on a home right here right now see they're listening they're listening Th that dude was like yep I'm building I don't know who it is that I'm building for uh, but I'm building I just wanted the population to go over 100,000 and stay there so I can be like yay 
So, um, in theory, with reaching a hundred thousand, we could be building some uh, more things like the um, what are they called? Monuments. Uh, I don't know if I really need any of these. Um, it'd be kind of cool to have the medical center. Uh, and you know just to have like the fusion power plant and I don't know if I need a space elevator I'm not gonna go to space really ever um, you know in our maybe but our lifetime is kind of you know running out um, <laughs> there's options to go to space I'm just saying that I'm, I'm probably not gonna sign myself up to like be on a 50 year waiting list to go to space so with that said, um, let's see what else we can do. Oh, there's some people here with power problems, and I did not notice. So uh, let's take some of these more, some of these parking lots. Again, uh, that that could be a spot. I do like this area for um, for the coolness of it. There's one shop that's bargain booze. Um, it's probably the coolest place in town. You can come out here, park your car. Uh, get your bargain booze, and then like this lady is doing, you can sit and watch the bay with all the uh, boats, and there's a nice park down there, and cool houses that are, you know, being built. Look at that. Why not? Why not enjoy the wonderful, wonderfulness? So what if the freeway or motorway is on, on top, creating all sorts of noise? Um, it doesn't matter. I think it's a wonderful spot to be. Alright, so, um, I'm indeed out of time, but we do have our park built, and we will just say that we have 100,000 population, and, um, I'm probably gonna make a short uh, question and answer video following this to ask you guys what you would want to see after this playthrough is over. We can keep going with this playthrough, uh, like I showed you before, there's still a few areas we can build in, uh, but essentially we got most of the nice key parts out of the way, so um, we don't really have to keep going for too long with this, we can start a new map, a new playthrough of some kind in City Scanners, of course, and it, it's been uh, fun doing this one. And you guys are enjoying it, so I would like to continue to do maybe a um, tropical theme city or something of, something like that. So uh, yeah, there's the park area. It is Park Central, and I do thank you guys for watching. Please do hit the like button, comment, and if you're not subscribed to my channel and you know, like this kind of playthroughs and videos, please do subscribe. Share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. And hopefully I will see you next time in the next episode. Till then, have a good day. Bye-bye.